ladies and gentlemen, to the Unionville Doncrest Canada Hong Kong New Horizons Lions Club Inauguration Charity Gala, a grand two evening of fashion and dance. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. 各位嘉賓、各位朋友，再次咧係多謝大家咧來臨啦！我哋今晚嘅至尊火舞藝上創會就職典禮嘅慈善夜晚會嘅。So my name is Michelle Chu. It's my honour to be the MC tonight with Mr. Joseph Shen and also well known as Big Ham。咁好多個朋友都叫佢做碧鹹嘅。Lion Margaret Law and Lion Alice Cole. Dear honorable guests, I'm very happy to be here. My name is Margaret Law and my good partner, my co-chair is Alice, Alice Cole. Welcome you all to our inauguration charity gala, a grand tour of fashion and dance, hosted by Canada Hong Kong Unionville Doncrest New Horizon Lions Club. 各位亲爱嘉宾，各位亲爱来宾，欢迎各位莅临今晚加港新礼情狮子会所举办嘅至尊火舞艺上创会就职慈善夜。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is great to have you here tonight. The evening will feature our charter celebration and inauguration ceremony, where all our club officers, directors, and members are officially inducted. And we are very grateful to have the support of a grand sponsor, Canada-China Tourism and Cultural Exchange Association, who has donated 60 free tour packages, China's Essence Eight Days Tour for our raffle draw, as well as our silent auction. 今晚嘅盛會咧，將會係包括誒本分會成立嘅儀式啦，創會董事會成員同埋職員嘅就職典禮。我哋非常之感謝我哋大會嘅至尊贊助家津旅遊文化交流協會，我哋送出六十份免費旅遊華東名城八天嘅套票，作為今晚嘅抽獎同埋暗標競投嘅禮物。We are also very honoured to have a Spectacular fashion show sponsored by Paris Fashion Shop, City Trend Fashion, and Chinese-inspired fashion collective by Alice Co. The collective fashion show will be punctuated by thrilling dance shows featuring the, Chi the Canadian Amateur Dance Board Champions. The 2008 Canadian Dance Board Champions will be our feature performers tonight in international and Latin dancing. The show production is conducted by Power King Light and Sound and Live music will be provided by Chen Wing Wa, New Day. The whole evening of dance and music is for you to enjoy. We are very happy to welcome to the Paris Fashion Show, the Paris Fashion Show, the City Trend Fashion, and the Alice Cole Show. We are very happy to welcome you to the Paris Fashion Show. This Paris Fashion Show will be conducted by the Canada Fashion Show, 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 
。今日嘅演出係由 Power King 燈光音響製作公司負責製作，以及張永華先生現場音樂演奏。我哋務求各位來賓能夠盡興而歸。And the proceeds of the evening will be donated to South Lake Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to Nanhu Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to Nanhu Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to Nanhu Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to Nanhu Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to Nanhu Regional Health Center for the new cancer wing. And our tonight's profits will be donated to 籌委籌委會成員、所有嘅贊助人士以及機構、捐贈禮物人士同埋所有機構、社區領袖以及所有志願人士，令到今晚嘅盛事係得以順利進行嘅。Enjoy your evening and have a wonderful time。緊祝各位係盡興。Thank you。Thank you。Now we would like to invite the District Governor Mike Springford to say a few words. Let's welcome. The District Governor, Lion Mike Springford. You'll probably be uh, pleased to hear that I'm not going to do this in Cantonese and English. <laughs> this is one of the happiest days in the, the Lion calendar is when we get to celebrate uh, the uh, chartering of a new club. And I'm so pleased that you can all be here to enjoy this along with, uh, with Lion Danny and uh, Lion Margaret and the executive of the new club and also the members of this new club. I, uh, I know this is a big day for everybody. It's certainly a big day for us in Lionism. And uh, usually when we have Lion meetings in A16, uh, I've introduced a new mantra this year. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to get up and just uh, help me out with this. And um, it's quite simple. I'll teach you how to do it, but if everybody stands up quickly, we can do this and get it over with and get it out of the way. So, so it goes like this. It's quite simple. I'm good. I'm good. You're, great. You're great. And together we're fabulous. Together we're fabulous. So now we're going to do that at the top of our voices, okay? So here we go. I'm good. You're great. Together we're fabulous. Perfect. Thank you very much. Lions Clubs International is a volunteer-driven organization of 1.3 million men and women worldwide. And uh, we're just in our 92nd year. We're celebrating 92nd, uh, 92 years of service to our communities around the world. We're in over 200 countries and 45,000 clubs. The, um, the, the charter, uh, or the founding member of our organization was a fellow by the name of Melvin Jones, and he was an insurance broker from Chicago. And Melvin realized quite quickly that he could do a lot more in his community if he had a team with him to help him. So he, he got some of his uh, fellow business associates to come together to form the first Lions Club in 1917. And since then, our focus has been on um, serving humanity and helping people in communities uh, in not only Chicago, but many other countries around the world. And um, our focus has been on uh, site-related projects in 1925. Uh, Helen Keller came to our convention and she challenged the Lions to be the Knights of the Blind. And what she wanted us to do was to help in every area of sight uh, that we could handle as volunteers and this is what we've done over the years. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a three-year campaign in the world where we've just raised over $200 million for sight-related uh, uh, cures. And we know now that with that money, we can save the sight of about 37 million people around the world. So more than the population of Canada. So all the lions in the room, to put your hands together. Please. We're a very great, proud organization. We're proud of what we do. We're not very good at advertising it, but we do a lot of great work in the communities. And um, we've uh, recently uh, been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize uh, for our humanitarian works by one of our greatest lions, Lion President Jimmy Carter from Georgia. And uh, in addition to that, we've been voted out of 48 different organizations around the world. We've been voted as the number one NGO, the number one non-government organization in the world, again, for our humanitarian work. So again, this is a huge accomplishment. And uh, I want you all to, uh, you know, to be proud of the fact in the lionism that this is what we do. We, we have to communicate that better to the community as we go on. So um, I, uh, I'm just here to welcome you tonight. I know I'm getting, I'm getting looks from Margaret. She told me I've only got two minutes because we want to get on with the rest of the evening. We have a lot of entertainment here. 
Um, I do have one very special thing that I'd like to do uh, before I sit down. And Lion Margaret, if you'd like to come to the front, please. Lion Margaret, Zone Chairman Margaret, yes. member of Extension Team International Lion Margaret. This lady is an amazing individual. She does so much work for, for lionism. I, can't, I wish I had half of her energy. The, um, as I mentioned, the founder of our organization was a fellow by the name of Melvin Jones. And the highest honor that any lion can receive in lionism is called the Melvin Jones Award. And it is my very, very great pleasure tonight to present that to Lion Margaret Law for all of her work and all of her commitment. Thank you, Margaret. National Extension Consultant Lion Paul Baker to perform the keynote speech. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's welcome. The International Extension Consultant Lion Paul Baker. 我哋俾啲掌声，我哋今晚其中一位为我哋主持。Thank you. It's always great to be helped up to a stage by a beautiful-looking woman. Uh, international officers, past and present, and uh, district officers, past and present, lions, guests, but especially our very special guest this evening, and that's every new member of the new club. It's an honor for me to be here this evening, and when Lion Margaret asked me if I'd be keynote speaker a few weeks ago, I'd never been asked to be keynote before, and I thought long and hard about what I'm going to speak about. But the answer came to me very recently, and it was really quite simple. Now, just for a moment, I know some of you are, are starting on your soup, but I just would like you to do something for me for one moment. I'd like you to close your eyes. Just close your eyes, and I'm going to draw you a picture. You're in a village. It's a beautiful village. It's a sunny day. The wind is calm. And you're going about your daily chores in the village. School children are running to school. It's beautiful. Can you see it? You're in China. All of a sudden, the ground starts shaking violently, then more violently. Open your eyes and look around and see the destruction that the earthquake is causing around you. The school children ran into that school moments before the earthquake struck. The school collapsed. Now luckily many of these particular school kids were able to get out alive. Some didn't. Well within 48 hours there were many lions from across the world that went to China and went to the, the, uh, the earthquake-stricken region and they began the work of rebuilding. Lions Clubs International immediately gave money, large amounts of money. This is all within 48 hours, long before the Red Cross got there, long before the Salvation Army or any other organization. Well, in this particular village, the lions took another 48 hours, and this is a true story, 48 hours, and they had rebuilt this school, a temporary school, it wasn't great, but it was a temporary school, and those kids were back in school 48 hours, whilst the devastation in their village was still being cleared up. Now, what did this really do? Was it really about sending those kids back to school and getting them educated? Or was it about giving them hope that no matter what happens in life, there is hope, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And that's why I like to be a lion, 
because we lions constantly, we make miracles happen. We make that light at the end of the tunnel oh so many times. That's why, as our new members, strive forward and begin your new found work within lionism, always remember that it's not just the local work we're doing in our local community, but just by being a lion, just by paying your international dues, you are helping someone somewhere in the world who would like to say thank you. If only they knew who you were and where you were. On that note, I, I know Lion Margaret likes me to be short and sweet so we can continue with the program. Oh, there she is. I thought you were standing behind me. But please, I want you to take that image home with you. Because it is an image of hope. And every lion in this room and every other person in this room, you don't even have to be a lion to help people around the world. Just by being here this evening, you are helping because part of your money is going to help a cause that this club is willing to help. I applaud you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, um, we have a good news. We're happy to also have the past district governor, Lion Jean Harrington, all the way from Philadelphia tonight. So he's going to say a few words. Let's welcome Lion Jean Harrington. Yeah, he drove all the way to bring his greetings from Philadelphia. Thank you, and greetings from Philadelphia and District 14A of the Lions. The world finances might be in trouble, but Lions are not. Lions are doing great. And especially here in, in District A16, with this tremendous turnout and event that you're holding tonight. Last spring, and the reason why, I, why I'm really here, but first, let me, before I go into that, uh, I've been to many charter nights throughout the Philadelphia area. I don't think I've ever seen one quite this extensive. So, if you would just give me a minute, I want to take some pictures. <laughs> Something to take. Something to take home with me. <laughs> Last spring, your own uh, Lion Margaret uh, came down to Philadelphia and helped me to start a new Lions Club in Chinatown, Philadelphia. And we did that. And it didn't take three months. It didn't take two months. It didn't take one month. It took three days. <laughs> three days with Lion Margaret working with me and we formed a new Chinese Lions Club in Philadelphia. And I appreciate that. And I do have a, and I, I guess I should call you Zone Chair. Margaret, would you come forward please? Because there is a recognition for doing this from Lions International, and that is the extension pin, and and yours, Margaret, has a number two on it, two extensions. Thank you. I can get it open here. So now, the, probably the toughest job I have tonight is. <laughs> Now also, last year when I was governor, I had a personal pin that I had that I, I gave out in special occasions, and I'd like to give one of these to Mark. Now 
Also, I'd like to call forward Charter President Danny. My, my home club is the Springfield Lions Club, and we're a membership of about 90 or so, and we're in suburban Philadelphia. And we have what's called a friendship banner, which is an exchange item. When you go visiting, you exchange banners. So I'd like to give you at this time our Springfield banner. Also, if I can find it here, yeah, one of my personal pins. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Now, uh, finally, and I'm almost, uh, I guess, up here as long as uh, past Governor Paul, but uh, I'd like to invite you all on November 15th to the Philadelphia Chinese Charter Night just like this. Come on down. The official induction ceremony starts. So we would like to invite the past district governor, Lion Dick Pill, as the induction officer. And we also like to invite Margaret Law to come on the stage to introduce all the directors and members. Let's welcome our induction officer, past district governor, Mr. Dick Peel, as well as the Sohn Chair, Margaret Law. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's my honor tonight to induct many new members into this new club. This is a very important part of our presentation tonight, and the induction of new members into the Unionville, Doncrest, Canada, Hong Kong, Horizon Lions Club. If you didn't realize it, it's also the longest Lions name that's ever been made so far. <laughs> to begin with, I'd like to now call upon Lion Margaret to introduce the new charter members of this new club. May I now call upon the new Charter President, Lion Danny Lia, to come on stage. The Vice President, Lion Carol Chen. Vice President, Lion Alice Ko. Vice President, Lion John Choi. The Charter Secretary, Lion Jeremy Liang. The Treasurer, Lion Kenneth Wai. The Membership Director, Lion Howard Wong. Lion Tamer, Lion Kim Man Fung. Lion Tail Twister, William Low. Director, Lion Rebecca Wong. Director, Lion Tara Falk. Following are our charter members, Lion Amy Ao, Lion Elena Chan, Lion Joanna Chan, Lion Irene Cheung, Lion David Cho, Lion Elaine Kwan, Lion Paul Lee, Lion Angel Liang, Lion Debbie Lo, Lion Chi Tak Wong, Lion Karen Wong, Lion Kit Yu, Lion Aries Yun, last but not least, Lion Dominic Lee, and myself, Lion Margaret Law. Thank you. this invitation. To be a member of a Lions Club is a privilege because you did not seek the honor. Your names were presented by both your sponsor and the membership chair to the board of directors and other club members who felt you would be a good lion. And your membership will benefit this new Lions Club, Lions International and the community. You're about to become a member of the world's largest and most active service club. 
an organization of over 1.3 million service-minded people in the world. Lions was started in 1917 by Melvin Jones, as stated by our government earlier, a Chicago area salesman who recognized the need for helping the many needy people he noticed during his travels. The word Lions is an acronym for liberty, intelligence, and our nation's safety. The colors of Lions, gold and purple, symbolize loyalty, royalty, power and friendship, and our motto is we serve. I would now ask Lion Danny Long to come and light the first candle. This candle represents the light of Lions International. The light of Lionism has brought men, women and children of all walks of life together to help in a common cause. I would now ask Lion Kenneth Way to light the second candle. This candle represents District A16, of which this club is now a member. I would ask Lion Jeremy Long to come and light the third candle. This candle represents all of the new members that will be joining Lions in Canada and throughout the world. Finally, I would now ask Howard Wong to wish, wishes to become a member of the Lions Cup to light a candle. With the lighting of each candle, the darkness goes, the shadows fade, and the room becomes more recognizable and the senses are heightened. You'll notice that there is still one candle not lit. This is for those that still need to be asked and accept membership into Lions. If the Unionville Doncaster Hanover Hong Kong Horizon Lions Club is to serve its community, the youth, the aged, the blind, and others less fortunate than us, these club members must be willing to work and devote both time and talents to these worthy causes. Rewards of membership are great. You will be warmed by the thanks of the people in the community. You will see the problems in the community and as a lion be asked to assume leadership in their solutions. And above all, you will find through the fellowship of this new Lions Club that lionism is a cooperative effort in which every member shares the load. I would now ask all of you, do you deserve to become a lion of the Lions? Do you desire to become a member of this new Lions Club? Yes. Since you have expressed a desire to affiliate with this new Lions Club and with Lions International, I would ask you to repeat after me. I do hereby accept, do hereby accept. membership in the Unionville, Doncrest, Hanover, Hong Kong, Horizons, Lions Club. Unionville, Doncrest, Canada, Hong Kong, New Horizons, Lions Club. Knowing that such membership obligates me to participate in all functions of the club to the best of my ability. That I will abide by the Lions Code of Ethics. Attend meetings as regularly as I can. Accept such assignments as are given to me. And contribute my share to the programs of my club, district, and Lions International. You are now members of this new club, the Unionville Doncaster Hanover Hong Kong Horizon.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome presidents of the Unifield on Grass Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lions Club. District Governor Lion Mike Springford, all fellow Lions, all guests. I am much honored to be the Charter President of Canada Hong Kong Unifield Thorn Crest New Horizon Lions Club. Our club is a new Lions Club in York Region with a branch club in Hong Kong. Our major goals are to promote business and professional networking, to support performing arts and entertainment activities, and to participate in community charity and services. We are very proud to become members of the Lions family to serve our local and international communities. We wish to promote global vision and awareness and uphold our Lions spirit with the motto, we serve. In the coming year, we are going to raise one for the following Canada mainstream non-profit organizations. South Lake Regional Health Foundation, the Canadian Amateur Dance Sport Association, York University Hong Kong Students Association, Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts, and the Young Fashion Designers. Here, I would like to take this opportunity to express my thanks to our District Governor Line, Mike Springford, our past District Governor Line, Dick Peel, and our guiding lines, Line Margaret Law and Line David Hitchin for their assistance and support in funding this club. Also, we are very grateful to the Vilena support and valuable contribution from our distinguished guests, honorable sponsors and fellow members. Special appreciation should be given to our co-chairs, Line Margaret Law and Line Ellis Cole, and the whole organizing committee for dedication and for the hard work. Tonight, we are celebrating the foundation of our club, and we wish every one of you to witness the great event. Thank you for your patronage, and to enjoy a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. He's actually celebrating his 30th wedding anniversary this evening. And it's been a lovely experience with us. <laughs> Guiding Lion, Regional Chair, Lion David Hitch. The other guiding line, also song chair, line market law. She's also the event chair for the evening. Co chair, as well as being the guiding line. And now let's welcome the honorary advisor. And then we have Honorary Advisor, Bob Min Chen, City Councilor. It's so pleasing to see that Lions Club 
with 1.3 million people helping other people around the world. And Lions Club has, uh, has branches in almost every country around the world. I first come to know of Lions Club when I was about in my teens, maybe 13, 14 years old, in my native country, Iran. And at that time, members of Lions Club were helping people in that part of the world. <laughs> Lions Club with 1.3 million people who are helping others around the world established 91 years ago in Chicago, I, I, I just heard. But uh, the story I guess goes that the first Lion Club actually set up in Windsor, Canada. So we Canadians can take a little credit on that respect. I congratulate the new members for the new lines and wish you all the best and uh, and hope that uh, Lions Club will celebrate soon its 100th year anniversary and hopefully I'll be around to participate in that great celebration. All the best, enjoy the evening and uh, have a great have a great day. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. It's, uh, it's an exciting evening for sure and it was uh, interesting watching the, the uh, charter inaugural members come forward and seeing the ceremony that Lions go through. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and a privilege to be here at this inaugural charity gala celebrating this new chapter of International Lions Club. And my congratulations to all the members of the Canada Hong Kong Unionville Doncrest Lions Club, a new Lions Club in York Region. It's interesting to see that we have many, many community minded individuals in both Markham and in Richmond Hill who have taken the initiative to start a new Lions Club. Service in the community is something that builds strong communities and I congratulate all of the new members and the organizing uh, people of Lions International that came forward to, uh, to help this happen. I know I want to introduce uh, our local councillor, Ward 6 councillor who represents the Doncast area but as a Godwin Chan. Congratulate him on an honorary advisor role. I look forward to a wonderful evening and celebrating with you. Thank you. 現在有請中華人民共和國初段都從民館的江建唱領事為我們致辭。今天我和李霞副理事很高兴因要出席家党心理层狮子会成立及新资源就职典礼在此请允许我代表中华人民共和国驻多伦多总领事馆向在座的各位表示亲切的慰问和向家党心理层狮子会的成立和新资源就职表
，蒸蒸日上。祝在座的各位身体健康，家庭幸福，事业发达。谢谢。President Daniel Liang, Margaret Law, distinguished guests, every friends, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for invitation. We are pleased attending this party. And on behalf of the Council General of the People's Republic of China in Toronto, warmly greeted for everyone. And congratulations to Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lines Global Inauguration Ceremony. I believe Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lines Club will carry on the lines separator dedicated to the survey and uh, make more contribution to the society. I wish every everyone continues to commercial friendship of the Chinese with Canada. Especially, I want to say when China's two provinces suffered an earthquake. The Canada New Horizon Lines Club and everyone donate money to support people spend a difficult time. I, on behalf of Consulate General, thanks so much again. I suggest congratulations to the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games success and yesterday China the Central 7 showed up in the Chile success at the Jiu Quan Lunch Center. Wealth is the first paid worker. This is a Chinese product. Finally, I wish the Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lines Club great success in the future. And I wish everyone enjoy the wonderful evening and everyone house, family happy. That's all. Thank you. I would like to invite Mr. Stephen Hsu, Assistant Director, Public Relations of Hong Kong Economic Trade Office, to say a few words. 跟住我哋有請駐多倫多香港經貿處助理處長蕭顯陽先生為我哋講幾句説話。有請蕭 Sir。Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I try not to take up another two minutes from your dinner time. The, when I talk to the President Danny Lam, he said no. The, it would be politically incorrect if you know we do not have someone from Hong Kong speaking tonight. Since the organization is called Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lines Club, it's a long name, as the one of lines said earlier. Um, Hong Kong and Canada are good international partners. If you still remember 1997, I think you know, most of you remember that year when Hong Kong returned to China. The year health, the occasion health forged closer family and social ties between Hong Kong. We are something in half a million Hong Kong people living in Canada. And later, because of the economic boom in China and in Hong Kong, right now we have a quarter million Canadian passport holders in Hong Kong. And for those of you who have been to Hong Kong, you will have noticed that the most popular entertainment district in Hong Kong, which is called Lan Kwai Fong, which is started by a Canadian from Montreal, if you go there on July 1st, you will notice that you could see more Canadian flags than anywhere in Canada. You know, for Canadians, you should be proud of that. And uh, if you are hockey players, I tell you, you know, if you follow hockey, you will, uh, you will know that one of the best players in Vancouver and uh, National Hockey League player by the name of Barry Beck. He moved to Hong Kong under a program called Quality Immigrant Program. And he became a Hong Kong citizen last year, teaching and lifting the hockey quality in Hong Kong. And I'm quite sure the hockey, the level of hockey playing is far higher in Hong Kong than in Canada. You know the reason why? In Canada, you have your hockey rings on the ground floor. In Hong Kong, the hockey rings is high up on one of, uh, you know, inside one of the multi-level, multi-story buildings in Hong Kong. So it's high up, you know, on the top level of a multi-story building. So imagine that, you know, Hong Kong's hockey level is higher than Canada. And uh, if you, you have kids and if you are considering of going to Hong Kong to explore your career or set up your business there, 
you will uh, notice that the largest Canadian Business Association is in Hong Kong, the Overseas uh, Business Association, which is the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, which is the largest overseas and second largest in Hong Kong after the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. And I can say many, many, many of this example will take up your whole evening, so I don't want to do that. I just want to cite the more interesting ones. And uh, by giving all these examples, what I'm trying to prove is the close relationship between Hong Kong and Canada. And I hope the Canada-Hong Kong New Horizons Nice Cup Will help further will help further strengthen the already close and the everlasting relationship between Hong Kong and Canada, and you will be a new momentum. I trust that very much. Thank you. I'll ask Li Tianmen Shan Shi, the CEO, Godwin Chen, to help us. Good evening, everyone. Isn't that an exciting evening or what? Really, eh? Everybody's having a great time. That's great. Um, honorable guests, particularly all the line governors from not just in Canada, but down South Philadelphia, and your worship, Dave Barrow, my good friend, Dr. Risa Mulrady, Bob Wiley, Richmond Hill MPP, um, and many distinguished guests in here. Of course, uh, Mr. Stephen Seal just talk about the greatness of Hong Kong. So after Stephen talk about Hong Kong, I guess the other part is for Canada. And someone comment about what a long name. You know what? If you're looking for someone to blame, I may be one of them. Because I'm the one who suggests, great, you have some members who live in Unionville. But like Danny, and a good number of the Alliance members, they actually also live in Don Crest. And I have the privilege to represent that great community called Don Crest. So I make that suggestion, why don't you also include Don Crest? And I'm very glad the guiding line, Margaret Lang, took that advisement. And now that we have that name. Now, I know dinner is being served, so I will be very brief, just want to say three things. Number one, I'm very honored to be having this opportunity to bring greetings uh, to you, not just as a councillor of the local council in Don Crest. Uh, our mayor will bring the best wishes from our town and also the 905 York region. But also, uh, I'd like to say congratulations to all the hard-working founding members, not to mention, of course, the guiding line, Margaret Lang, and of course, President Lang as well. Uh, now, number two, I want to say also congratulations to each and every one of you here tonight because, as you know, your participation tonight have actually made a great contribution and donation to a lot of worthy courses. And number three, I just wish every one of you a very enjoyable and memorable evening. Thank you. As an inauguration gala this evening, they are presenting a check already. That's very critical as a line of love. Canada Hong Kong New Horizon Lions Club for their very first donation to the community. Cancer care that we all need and deserve. So we thank the New Horizons Lions Club for their commitment and their leadership to the cancer campaign. We also thank everyone here tonight for making a difference to thousands of cancer patients and their families who will benefit from your generosity. This means that many of our family members, friends, neighbors, lions will have the best cancer care available to anyone in Canada, very close to home. Thank you. I don't know. Do you know where the market is? I think everyone knows. We are now in the market. 
。Markham 如果過去我哋偏左少少咧，就係、是、我哋 Richmond Hill。Richmond Hill 再高少少咧，北少少就叫 Aurora。其實 Aurora 好細嘅啫，一過咗 Aurora 咧就係、是、New Market 嘅。其實咧好似好遠咁，其實係好近嘅。咁我曾經有一個機會咧，就係、是、究竟啊，我落單攤翻工好啊，抑或係上去即係收拎翻工？咁我決定咧就係冇錯嘅，咁我就係去咗收拎翻工，因為我覺得咧，我每次翻工同放工咧都係相反方向嘅，嗰、那個 busy hour 咧係 against traffic 係好方便嘅。咁呢樣我係真係即係一個係一個個人嘅感受，想同大家分享下。咁我亦都好多謝各在座各位今誒今日嘅大家咁慷慨，就支持我哋深誒起緊嘅癌症治療中心。因為收呢咧，其實喺呢幾年係誒即係擴展得係好快，亦都好需要好多資源去誒鞏固我哋醫院所有嘅治療，包括當當然係一個喺個咁 regional 一個咁社區性嘅癌症中心啦。咁我哋希望咧就將來誒即係大家。大家有搞嘅有家人啊，有朋友啊，或者有左鄰右里，將來真係唔好彩啊！我哋需要一個治療嘅時候，希望就喺我哋嘅附近有一間好間盡善盡美嘅癌症中心為各位服務。多謝各位。
Japan Fashion would like to remind you, this is the year 2008 when the Olympics is in Beijing and the latest Austrian athletes. So why not, when you wear fur, wear it in color and in style. Well now we're going to move on to the next age category and we're going to see a youth couple. Arjun Yara Roy and Mila Shina are the Canadian Standard Youth Champion and tonight they're going to perform some standard dances. So we'd like to welcome Arjun and Mila onto the floor and they're going to give you first their version of the English Waltz. have only been dancing together just a little over a year and so I think they're doing an incredible job. Right now, before they do their second dance, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Artem. Artem finished school in Russia and he came to Canada just over a year ago. He was the Siberian 10 dance and Latin champion and he began dancing at the age of nine. The second dance for you will be the tango.
Thank you. Artem is only 18 years and Mina is 17. Mina is a, a senior at high school here at Earl Haig and majors in dance. Before dancing with Artem, Mina was a Canadian junior 10 dance and Latin and standard champions and she was ranked 17th in the junior in the ranking in the world. Mina started dancing when she was only six years old. The third dance that they're going to do for you tonight will be the Viennese Waltz. in Halifax, Artem and Mina won the Canadian Youth Standard Champion and came second in the Youth Latin. As a result, they are going to be going in December to the World Youth Standard Championships in Spain. So we wish them lots of luck. But I think the dancing tonight explains why they came in first. The fourth dance they're going to do is the very difficult but beautiful Foxtrot. Ontario Open Championships at the end of October, there was a big competition held in Toronto, but we also have many competitions right across Canada that you will find many talented dancers at. So if you want more information, you can go to the Ontario Dance Sport website or the Canadian Amateur Dance Sport website and there will be a list of many up and coming competitions. And as I said, Artem and Mila, and of course you saw Anna Nina and Winston and soon you'll be seeing another couple are just three of our very, very talented couples we have here in Canada. The last dance that, that Artem and Mila are going to be doing is a very fast and energetic quick step.
travel back in time, you don't have to even travel to Beijing or Shanghai in order to experience these beautiful dresses. We're in the best multicultural country in the world, Canada. Chipao is all about being personalized. So if you need a personal one, you can always talk to Alice. You're going to be very fortunate to see the three-time Canadian Latin champion and they were also twice they were second in the North American Latin champion. Let's welcome please Camille Studney and Katia Trevino. partnership in 2005 and already they have been extremely successful. They have won the Vancouver Open, the Calgary Open, the Manhattan Open, the North American under 21. They were the champions there. They were finalists at the World Latin Challenge in 2007 and they have many, many, many other titles and I think you can see why. And right now they are ranked 35th in the world but this talented couple I know are going to really do well in this next dance. The next dance they're going to show you will be the very cheeky dance we call the cha-cha. Oh, you don't love me no more 
This couple were also 12th in the World Cup held in Singapore and was 7th in the Asian Pacific Championship. The ne next dance they're going to do for you is called the Pasadoble. In the Pasadoble, the man is the matador and the lady is his cape. And you will be able to see that throughout this dance. couple have not only been competing, but they've also been in movies. You might have seen them in the movie Shall We Dance with Jennifer Lopez and Richard Gere, or in the movie Take the Lead. And they've also been interviewed on TV, they have been on Breakfast TV many times, and E.T. Canada with it, when they were talking about Dancing with the Stars special. So they are a very well-known couple. The fourth dance you're going to do is a very romantic dance called the Dance of Love. Come Here design. 
next performance. We have 50 winners this evening and right now we're presenting a token of appreciation for their sponsorship this evening. So we'd like to call upon the president, Mr. Danny Lau, as well as the event coach here. I just want to say congratulations to the New Lions Club. They're going to really have a great impact. So come on, let's hear it for the New Lions Club. Congratulations.